All right, Brother Joe, um, I wanted to hop on here. I appreciate you getting on one of these testimonial calls with us, um, but I want to hop on here and just ask you to tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, tell us about how your, your grand opening service went. Yeah, so just a little bit about me. Uh, we're a church planner here in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, uh, out of my dad's church in uh, Akron, Ohio, First Baptist Church of Kenmore, and the Lord allowed us to start our church in September from scratch in our house. And uh, through a process of time and the giving of God's people, we were able to purchase a building and we were able to purchase yeah. a beautiful church building. And we've been meeting in that building since February. And then from February to the plan was to have a grand opening service on Easter Sunday, which was this last Sunday. And so, um, uh, couple of weeks after that, I got a hold of a GM Baptist Outreach and uh, Mr. Dalton here helped us out uh, to create a uh, very efficient, effective um, digital track, really an invitation for people to sign up uh, for the church service. And uh, we also went out uh, on foot, door to door, yeah, and I passed know. out about 7,000. I was at I was personally at least 5,000 doors personally, and uh, some other churches came out and helped us. We got about 7,000 or so flyers out, um, and then uh, with that and the digital track, we were able to sign up for the service. Um, 78 families signed up to be a part of the service uh, for the Easter service for the grand opening. And out of those 78 families, we had um, 108 people, 108 individuals showed up on Easter Sunday. Uh, probably over half of them, I would say about 60 people um, with kids and everything total. So about 60 people that, that came and were physically there were directly from the um from the digital track that we were able to use. And also, uh, not only was that a blessing, but then with the digital track, uh, it got a lot of good word of, word of mouth out in our community, a lot of goodwill out in the community, where people would recognize us even when we were passing out the flyers. Oh yeah, I saw this, I saw your, I saw your information on Facebook, I saw your video, I saw your pictures on Facebook. Um, and so even then, I mean, I've been, I've had 10 or 15 people messaging me to today that weren't able to come on Easter that want to come. Hey, can we, can we, they asked me, Dalton, they asked, can we come this week? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can come this week. You can come um, every week. Yeah. So they were, they were upset that they missed it. And so I'm like, no, we're having service every Sunday at 2, 2 PM. You know, you can be there. And so, um, here's Amen. our here's our, here's the stack, Dalton. I've been going through these today. Here's the stack of cards. Of just visitor cards. <laughs> those are all the visitor's cards. And I had people that came that didn't even fill out visitor's cards. So I've been going through those and I'm starting to write some handwritten letters out to the people and uh, making contacts. And that's going to be, you know, really what's going to fuel our, our face-to-face -face encounters for the next couple months. And even the people that didn't come uh, through the digital track, we were able to sign up um, them. And when they signed up, uh, they gave us their name, address, and phone number. And most people gave us the name, address, and phone number when they signed up with a digital invitation, the digital track. And so I'm even if they didn't come, I'm still able to send them uh, digital communication as well as uh, the physical communication or a letter or something like that. So that's that's gonna spur yeah. our, our our growth hopefully and uh, obviously the lord blessed and god used it um and it was it was a great a great experience for us yeah that's awesome you know and i when i saw y'all's picture when you sent me that picture that morning of the crowd in y'all's church i was like wow you know and it, it encouraged me i mean i remember when we started our church i wish i would have had this you know as far as just the facebook advertising side if i like if i'd have known you know what i was doing i mean we ran some facebook ads like boosted a post and stuff like that but it just it's not, you know, 
prompting people to actually take action and plan the visit like we're doing now. And I remember when we started, you know, we ran ads, we did different stuff, and we had like 40 something uh, first time people in church that day, but none of them came from the Facebook ad. <laughs> like, you know, they were all people we knew or family or different stuff. Um, and then the next Sunday, like I said, we, you know, we probably had, you know, like six people the next Sunday because most people that came were from out of town and they were family and different stuff. Um, but it's amazing that you had all them people from your community, you know, 60 some people from your community that just came from this ad. But on top of that, you know, the other 50 that came from passing out flyers and those kind of things, you know, that that's just that's awesome. All those people being right there in your community. Um, so another question, I'll say this and I won't take up no more of your time. But uh, how much did you spend as far as for this outreach, just for the outreach of your grand opening service and, and all and, you know, the results that you've gotten? How much was it that you spend for that? On the ads or all together? Just all together, working with us and on the ads. So the ad, the ads, uh, and the ads in the program was three hundred dollars, and then we had obviously there was money that we put out. Uh, now Bible tracks, um, pretty much donated our grand opening flyers to us. We paid a setup fee of like eighty bucks, and they sent ten thousand flyers. So that was you know that's pretty cheap. Yeah. Uh, and then we had uh, additional expenses as far as we bought Easter lilies for the church and we and we gave those out and we bought Easter eggs. Uh, and I know some people are going to be offended. Uh, yes, we used Easter eggs. God, God can use Easter eggs. <laughs> um, and we bought some candy and there was, you know, so. You know, all together, you know, it, less than ten dollars a person as far as yeah. like. If now, as far as the ads go, you you know it was three hundred dollars on 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 that. And then the, I would say this, Dalton, I've run ads before and had good results. Um, you know, I ran ads for my dad's church for different events, like big events like this, and we've had good results. My dad, his church is in a bigger town, um, but we had good results. But as far as your program and GM Baptist Outreach, kind of the the thing that takes that to a ne the next level is the automation and the communication and the getting organized, uh, usable data as far as who I'm communicating with and not having to send each text. Because before when I would do this, I would get people to sign up and prompt them into a, like a Google spreadsheet. And then that would go, and then I would have to take that Google spreadsheet and go line by line and message. I would, I would sit there and literally before big days and stuff like that, I'd sit there and message each individual person from, from my personal phone or from my uh, email account and message each person to, to get them to come that next day. So the fact that it's automated or a lot of it's automated now, you, you know, it's the beauty is you can you can interrupt that automation any point and and actually send them a personal message, which is great. And but the the beauty of it is that it is automated to the point where it looks like a personal message. It has their name in it, so it's not just some generic message. So it has their name in it, and they're building a personal connection with my church, even yeah. though I'm not personally contacting each individual one. They they are being they're being they're being connected with on a personal level, and um and that 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 is invaluable and that is I mean could you run an ad on your own and get people to church? Sure, you could. Will you get the information that we were able to get on Facebook and were, will, will you be able to message those people efficiently and quickly? No, you won't. You'll have to have some sort of service. Um, you'll have to pay some sort of texting service or something like that to message all these people quickly and efficiently, you know? So, yeah. so the ad paired with GM Baptist outreach and the way, you know, and the way that, you know Dalton and, and the people that we're bring that that Dalton's bringing on board um, has you know paid attention to the algorithms of Facebook and all that stuff changes sometimes daily. You yeah. know, and <laughs> right. so so could you build your own ad? Yes, 
Um, will you get the same results? Probably not. And it won't be sustainable. You know, with this digital track program, not only are you getting a sustainable result, but you're getting these people a, a, a first class invitation to church along with a gospel presentation. And um, most of the time, like all those tracks I've passed out, okay, I passed out 7,000 tracks. I have no information on who got that track. I have no idea who got that track. Right. We had 4,000 people view my video. Out of those 4,000 people that viewed my video, I have 78 names, addresses, and phone numbers of people that got that digital track, that got yeah. that invitation to my church and actually responded positively. Yes, I want to be there. And out of those 7,000 flyers, I can't tell you, I can't give you a hard number of how many people actually responded positively, how many people actually came. I don't know. But with the with the digital track, it, it's it's not it's on it, it's 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 not something that's going to replace your going out into the highways and hedges and compelling them to come in, but it's something that's coming alongside of it and making it uh, easier for the follow up at least on it and easier for you to organize it uh, to to be efficient and to be good stewards of your time and be good stewards of of the money that God has blessed us with. You know, I'm I'm going to be doing it again. You know, oh, for, yeah, absolutely. For I think, Mother's um, Day, and you know, and, and then when when the church gets on, you know, gets to a point, then I'll be running the ads, you know, for the weekly thing. But you know, e e whether you run the digital track for a weekly event or whether you run the tracks for, you know, uh, like a special revival or something like that, you're having. You know, you can customize that track to whatever you want and you're going to get results. You know, it's going to depend on the time you're doing it and all that, but you're going to get results and you're going to be getting results that you can use for years to come. And you're you're building personal connections with people in your community that are invaluable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think uh, everything you said is definitely um hit the nail on the head i think the, i think the automation part of it um the follow-up reminders reminding them of the service you know you don't have to you know because we get busy in the ministry you know doing stuff you know studying praying ministering to people um you know just the the automation of the reminders know, for the yeah. service coming up some of that stuff is get yeah, to send out 78 so tracks. powerful that that you like we don't realize how much um you know that stuff brings people in uh, because, you know, people are busy. You got to think about a lot of people even passing out tracks, you know, to, to houses, knock on doors. We, we go door knocking. Uh, but one of the things is, is a lot of people, a lot of these are lost people, um, even people that plan those visits. They're lost people or people that are out of church, been out of church for years. And it's easy for them to forget. It's easy for the devil to distract them. But if they're getting these reminders and different stuff coming all the way up to the service, you know, that it does something. It gives something the Holy Ghost of God can use to work in their hearts well, to get them to where, yeah, where you I mean, we be. can use the parable. I always like to liken church planning to the parable of the sower, you know, where he's throwing the seed out. And I, I try to tell people our job is just to throw the seed out. Let's get as many of these flyers, get as many of these invitations out as possible. And some land on good ground and some land on on the different grounds. And but with the with the digital track. Um, you're getting the watering, you're getting the sunshine, you're not just throwing the seed, where when you're doing the door to door, it's more of just scattering that seed out, um, which is great, and we should do that. Um, but you're, you're, you're going back to that seed that you put out, and you're watering it. You're, you know, you can, you can make a personal video just for that one person. I made a video for everybody and sent it out. Well, I sat in, in 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 three minutes, I was able to send a personal like, hey, look, you know, Easter's coming up. We're excited. I'll have you. And I was able to send that to 78 people. If I was if I was to try to do that from my phone, you know, yeah, right. how long would that take me? Do I really want 78 uh, a group message with 78 people all trying to respond to me on my phone? You know, the <laughs> fact that it's all in one app and all in one place is 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 just you know, you can't duplicate that. You can't yeah. duplicate that without, I mean, it, it without a lot of work, you know, sit there. If I would have had to sit there on Saturday 
and message or call 78 people and remind them, hey, look, church is this Sunday, you know, or hey, you know, the church is this Sunday, remind 78 people that signed up. And the same thing, like even as I'm going through these cards, I can make a notation on the card and then in my app, I can go back onto that person and send them a personal message or put them in a group. Hey, these are people that all came. These are people that want to visit from me. I can have, I can, I can start making different groups where, you know, as they're, as we're progressing through the discipleship program, at some point they're going to go in a, in a discipleship group and I'm going to be able to send them discipleship material all through this app. So yeah. it, that's invaluable to, to be able to do that efficiently and quickly and 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 the fact that it's it's documented like i know where i'm at with this person i know this person came this person didn't come you know these people came and they they want to visit and these you know so that 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 organization yeah you could keep it on paper and you could do it that way you it's just when it's when it's electronic i can do it from anywhere and yeah. I'm able to, because I'm not full time. I'm not a full time. I'm, I'm, I don't make my money doesn't come through pastoring the church. I'm not a supported church planner. So I have to work a full time job. So my time yeah. is very concise. And so when I do get the time off or do get a couple of minutes, I can sit there in 10 minutes. I can message 78 people and they all feel like they had a personal connection and and we're down the road so that absolutely you know, there's, there's nothing I'll you can say, do to replace that i'll say this before we get off um and you know another aspect is how you're going to be running them and even how we're doing for our you know we run these same ads for our church and we run them we do it weekly for every yeah. sunday service but even on special events like for in your case you know you're talking about starting to run them on special events throughout the year like mother's day father's day different stuff like that you know every time you run these you're just building your list of okay you have 78 people in your community now you run it next time you'll get another 50 to 78 uh, over time you have a list of a couple hundred interested people that are in your community and they'll just keep on building that list that now you can send them messages every time a special event comes around you can send a bulk text message to all hundreds of them reminding or letting them know inviting them to your family and friend day you can build you know flyers in there on landing pages and have flyers with a pretty little flyers and form to register send those out um, all through this, you know, it, it's pretty much like you are just building a community of people in this system that you can nurture now to a place of ministering yeah. to them and getting them to your church and, and ultimately getting them to the Lord Jesus, you know, so. Yeah, that's that's the power of it. Like, you know, like we're saying, it's you're you're cultivating, you're growing a active relationship with these people and like it or not. Anybody under the age of 40 pretty much lives in a digital world right now. Absolutely. They're constantly on their phones. Um, we can fight it, you know, and, and I, I, I don't want my kids and, you know, we can all have our personal beliefs on all that. And that's great. And when, once you get them into the church, you teach about, teach them about the dangers of the digital world. And there's nothing wrong with that, but this is where they're at. And Jesus went where they're at. You know, he he said, go out in the highways and hedges. He's saying, go where people are at and compel them to come in. Go find people where they're at and compel them to go. That doesn't mean we have to go be a part of their world, but we have to go where they're at. We have to at least send the invitation where they're at. They're 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 yeah. at the digital space. That's where they're at. So when we digital tracks will go places that your physical track where I can't physically go and then meet them at a level that they're more comfortable interacting with me. They're more comfortable interacting and asking questions and 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 starting that way. And so, yeah, it's 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 a powerful tool that we can use. It's not a substitute for personal evangelism. It's not a substitute for personal soul winning. But it's it's another tool that we can use, um, and it's a it's a and and especially through GM Baptist Outreach, the fact that it's designed by independent Baptist church for independent Baptist churches, yeah. you know, you can we can know that it's it's not and there's other programs out there that are doing similar things, but their their cost is 
you can't imagine the cost that these people charge. And then it's, you know, the you're, you know, if 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 your if your priority is scriptural teaching, you're never going to have to worry about this company sending you a message or suggesting a message to somebody that's not going to line up with biblical values. So yeah. that's going to be, you know, that that's going to be powerful. And the fact also, you know, that GM Baptist Outreach is not only doing this at a very reasonable cost, but they're also involved in church plants. I mean, you know, they're, yeah. they're, you, you guys, are, I know of at least one, you, you, you're basically paying for all their stuff, you know, yeah. you know, yeah, I think, do I think it. this, this past yeah. month we've, we've paid for two church plants, um, ad. So that is a good point. You know, over time, as, as the company grows and churches do, um, you know, start using GM Baptist outreach, that is our, we want to turn around and do be a ministry to church plants as well. So, so it's not just um, a company, it's, it's, I, a, it's a ministry yeah. and, you know, the what you're charging to do it charging you're it's really not it's it's not more expensive than what they would do on their own or going out they're not going to you're not going to find a more reasonable price scale that's for sure and then the knowledge and expertise is second to none uh, in yeah. my experience because i've worked with other companies and it, so it's second to none and then the fact that it's you know for sure you know you're help you're helping other churches you're you, the the money isn't going into into making some guru rich it's it's going into into helping other churches so that's yeah. that's why i'm involved that's why i signed up for it and that's why i'm going to continue using it and promoting it and getting as many people involved with it as possible yeah, absolutely. And another thing, um, you know, and I'll say this, and I know this was supposed to be a short testimonial call, which it is, and but it's been going good. I love talking about what we, what everything does, you know. And another thing is, someone might watch this, and you might already pay for a bunch of different softwares and stuff for your church that does a lot of different stuff. But you know, GM Baptist Outreach software pretty much does everything. You know, as far as any software that you might be, a lot of times, a lot of these churches have all these different softwares, like a website builder, a text message sender out or all the, and they're paying for all these different softwares. Um, and it's, it all adds up and all of the different softwares are all literally in GM Baptist Outreach. Like literally yeah. you can do just about everything in one place. Um, so like, for instance, our website builder is, you know, it's second to none, just like, um, you know, Square or any of those website builders, it's just as sufficient. And you get you get all those things all in one place to where you can manage your yeah. church literally in one app. So, yeah, I was, you know, I was using a different provider for my website and I was talking and anyway, I was talking to Dalton about it and I was already, already using the service. And I'm like, yeah, I got to go build a, a website in Square and it's going to cost this amount. And he's like, Joe, you can just you're paying for the software. You could just so it, it ended up being cheaper. Then, yeah. so com churches that pay, you know, 40 bucks a month, 100 bucks a month for your website or, you know, you know, on the cheap end, $200 a year, $300 a year for your website, you know, when you're using the software, it, you know, it, it comes with that. And then if you're using text to church or remind us or different, different texting services, some of those, the free softwares have limitations and the ones you pay for, they're 20, 30 bucks a month. So then that's going to come, that's going to come with it. So yeah, you're right that there's just so much. And as the company grows, we, you know, you'll be able to add more, yeah. you know, function to this. And the person can know that, you know, they're, you know, Square is not a Christian company. <laughs> you know, yeah, right. You know, text these people, you, you know, this is a Baptist company by Baptist people with biblical values, you know, high standards um, that want to see the true gospel preached. And that's that's that to me, I'd pay more to, <laughs> to, 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 for that. But the fact that it's it's less, you know, should be it should be, you know, that's why I'm 100 percent behind it. And and telling everybody I know and getting it out there 
is is it's it's the benefit you, you say what's the cost and i would I, my question would be what's what's the worth yeah you know more than what the cost is what's the worth how much is one visitor to your church worth yeah absolutely you know how much is one family that will come and hear the gospel not I, I don't whether they get saved or not they'll come and hear the gospel one time what's that worth to you and i think that's worth a lot i think jesus died that's why jesus came and died on the cross was is to is to is to is to share the gospel for god so loved the world that he gave he, it was worth a lot we were worth a lot to him. So we talk about cost a lot, but but really what's the value? The value is you'll know that somebody's getting the gospel. And 108 people got the gospel, and a large part yeah. of that was GM Baptist Outreach. And mm -hmm. and to me, there's not a price tag that you could put on that. Um, yeah, and y'all have four people saved, right? Four people raised their hand for salvation, and many people stopped me afterwards and asked. There were so many questions afterwards. and you know, the, you know, it's, it's, it's a shame. We don't realize how foreign the gospel is to, to people. Yeah. And how, how the devil has used so many different things to cloud the conversation. And it's a, it's a foreign concept. So, you know, when you sit down and clearly present the gospel to people, you know, it takes a Holy Spirit ghost drawing them to be saved. And I, I mean, we believe that we teach that. So it, it may take them a little bit to to fully understand and to and to receive that. And so so that, you know, the, that's why the digital track is so impressive, is that not only are they getting an ad on Facebook, but they're getting a conversation that you can continue even after your first encounter. If I meet you, if I meet somebody on the street and, and present salvation, present the gospel to them, when I leave, more than likely or not, I'm probably not going to see them again. Right. Maybe I'm able to get their address. Maybe I'm able to get their phone number. Sometimes it's weird to ask people for their name and address, you know, especially in my case, if it's a lady, I feel weird asking, hey, what's your phone number? I want to text you, you know, when I, <laughs> right. just, you know, but I'm saying that's a, that's a weird thing to ask. Yeah. You know, and I, you know, so, but with the digital track, it's not weird. It doesn't come across as weird because they're putting it in, they're putting it in an, a page and they don't look at it as the same way as if I'm face to face. If I'm, if you're face to face with me and you ask me for my phone number, I'm not going to give it to you. But I put my phone number in all the time. Hey, sign up for this. You need your phone number. Okay. I never You're think on. twice of that. And so the fact that this digital track comes with that ability and the awesome thing is, Dalton, that, that, that you can put the digital track on your physical tracks. So with the, with the advent of QR codes, you know, yeah. and we talked about that, that you can put on your physical track you can put a QR code that will link them to your digital track so they'll get the video, they'll hear the gospel, not only on the track, but they'll hear the gospel again through the video. And they they go right to that landing page to where then, then they put in their name, address, and phone number, and then you have their information. And you're not, you know, I know I've gone so winning in the past. I wrote somebody's name down on a track and then I hand the track out or you write it on a piece of paper and you got to try to remember that paper or you know, so the fact that it's it's all organized for you is is invaluable. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, Mr. Joe, uh, I appreciate your time and uh, I really enjoyed it. Thank and, you, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm looking time. forward to working with you in the days ahead. Yes, sir. You have a good one. You do. Bye.